is a, is a livestock officer. Basically, I work uh, currently under the portfolio of uh, Emerging Livestock, where snails, uh, we have uh, locusts, we have crocodiles, and all those animals that are neglected fall. So that is the relevance of my being here today, to welcome you and to give you an overview of what we are doing in the, in the county. I welcome you all to Nakuru County and to this farm of a, a golden snail farm. My name is Wangui Wawero. I'm a farmer here in Laneta in Nakuru County. I do snail farming, whereby I specialize with the giant African land snail, which is found in warm areas like the weather of Nakuru, Kisumu and Kiambu, that is in Kenya, also in Mombasa. Here in Nakuru, uh, we first heard of uh, this uh, snail farming uh, early last year. And we were actually very impressed because we know the advantages of that farming in terms of improvement of livelihoods of farmers and improvement of the nutritional status of, of the, the people around here. So we came, we visited the farm and we were able to, to work together to, to, to be able to, to, to help if we can in terms of how management can be done and, and, and try to see how we can be able to promote uh, this, uh, this enterprise. <music> I do snails for meat, for meat, and also oh, I do sell to those who are who are doing extraction of the slime. The snail itself is a white meat, and also it's good for calcium. It also have vitamins, but it has vitamin B12, B17, and 18, and also it's organically farmed, whereby the snail itself doesn't eat any any kind of chemicals. So you're sure that when you're eating a snail, you're sure that you're eating something that has no chemicals in it. I think we have to remove that notion from our consumers that there's something wrong with snail meat. And I've just said that there's nothing wrong, I've eaten it and it's sweeter than all those other meats and it's also white meat, just like the crocodiles, just like the poultry meat like ostriches. We do a lot of barazas, we do stakeholder meetings to educate people uh, the consumers uh, in terms of the nutritional value, in terms of the dangers and the benefits of, 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 of various uh, feeds and foods that we have, and snail is one of them that we do. So we always get, go to Barazas to the chiefs, churches and all the other relevant uh, stakeholders that we can help us to, to, to spread the word that actually there's nothing wrong with eating snails. And that bit that it spreads coronavirus is pure propaganda. That I can take that to the bank. There is extraction of slime, which is done by other institutions like the Chuikwat. They extract the slime whereby they get the snail for me. It has the beauty products like lotion and cream and gel. In Nakuru, we have several non-conventional uh, livestock. We have uh, kanga, I would say that in Kiswahili. We have geese, we have turkeys, we have ostriches. Uh, we also have uh, quails, that uh, we also use eggs for quails and, uh, and ostriches and, and turkeys. There's a lot of consumption of turkeys, especially in Naivasha area. Uh, the, 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 the tourist hotels and even the locals take a lot of turkeys. Also in my farm. I do training, whereby I train the beginners who are interested in doing the snail farming, or being a diversification in farming and also in, in food, or, and my doors are open. I think Wangoi Waweru, uh, I, I, as what I'm seeing now, there's room for growth, and I think uh, in such a small area, snail farming is one of those enterprises after indigenous chicken and, uh, and rabbits that I think can be reared in the backyard because this has proven that it's possible. I'm able to keep almost 6,000 uh, snails, but currently I have 3,000 and I did a supply yesterday, but I usually keep 6,000 to 6, 7,000. I supply to individual consumers and also institutes uh, for a month. That for a month, I must have seven, six to seven thousand snails. The emerging livestock has very high potential. Snail farming, locusts, 
uh, harvesting and now I think there's a potential that we are leaving to go away. We've seen in Uganda they are eating locusts, in Western Kenya they are eating locusts, I'm saying I uh, ate locusts myself, there's kumbe kumbe and all those. They have a lot of high nutritional value and they also medicinal most of them, even, uh, even bee farming. So I think the farmers watching today should, should know that they shouldn't be afraid to venture into such businesses because for one, most of those merging livestock, they have better returns and less input in terms of product production. When you're coming to me, you can just call me through my number or just visiting my, oh, my Facebook account, where it's uh, the Golden Snail Farm and also Wangoi Wawero. Or, or you can just inquire to come just, just, just in time. The phone number is 0726 936 469 and also 0732 839 118. <laughs>